Hello everyone, welcome back to Technic for Learning. In this video, I'll show you how to make your Facebook account private. Let's get started. Facebook is still the biggest social media platform in the world. But while it's convenient for linking up with friends or colleagues, it also holds more of your personal data that you might realize. And if you don't have the right privacy settings, a lot of your personal data might be on public display. While you can control the advertisers and other outside companies that Facebook chooses to sell your information to, there are ways to ensure that other Facebook users can't see your information unless you want them to. So here's how to make yourself private on Facebook, whether just to strangers or to everyone. And here are ways to make your Facebook private. Facebook generally has four levels of privacy that you can set your account and post to. We have public, which means that anyone with a link can see it, even if they don't have a Facebook account. We have friends, which means that the only people who can see it are people on your friends list. You can sometimes exclude certain friends from seeing a post too. We also have friends of friends, which means that anyone who you share a mutual friend with can see it. Then you have only me, which means that it's totally private and you're the only one who can see it. If you want to make your Facebook as private as possible, you'll want to choose only me whenever you can. While some of Facebook's privacy tools are available in the mobile app, you need to open the Facebook website on a computer to find all of them. To get to Facebook's privacy menu, first, open the Facebook website and log into your account if you haven't already. Next, click the arrow in the top right corner. Then select Settings and Privacy and Settings. Next, on the Settings page that opens, click Privacy in the left sidebar. This will open the Privacy Settings and Tools page. Here, you've got a lot of options. So to make your post private, first, head to the Your Activity section to change who's allowed to see your posts, posts you've been tagged in, and pages that you follow. Click Who can see your future posts to change the privacy settings for everything you post from now on. Click Who can see the people, pages, and lists you follow to change who's allowed to see what you're following. And by clicking either Review all your posts and things you're tagged in, or limit the audience for posts you share with friends of friends or public, it will take you to a new page where you can edit the privacy settings on things you've already uploaded. Now, to hide your profile so people can find you, if you're concerned about people finding your profile and posts, the Help People Find and Contact You tools can help you keep you hidden. Click Who Can Send You a Friend Request to limit the amount of people allowed to friend you. Just note, that you can turn friend requests off completely. The best you can do is to limit them to mutual friends. The Who Can See Your Friends List option can hide your friends list so people can see who is in your network. And both the Who Can Look You Up Using the Email Address You Provided and Who Can Look You Up Using the Phone Number You've Provided question can make it so even if someone already has your contact information, they won't be able to find you on Facebook. And by clicking Do You Want Search Engines Outside of Facebook to link to your profile lets you hide your profile from Google, Yahoo, Bing, and other search engines. This is useful if you're worried about people finding you by Googling your name. Just note that it can take a few days to process. Moving on, to stop people from messaging you, using the How You Get Message Request section, you can limit who's allowed to message you. You can also choose to receive certain messages but filter them into their own folder, away from your inbox. Under Potential Connections, choose where messages from people who have your phone number and or mutual friends go. You can choose Chats, your regular inbox, message requests, a separate folder, or don't receive requests that deletes them. Under other people, make the same choice for people you're not connected to and Instagram users. Here, 
you can't choose to receive their messages in your regular inbox. You have to choose either message requests or don't receive requests. Lastly, how to make specific Facebook posts private. The controls we talked about control your entire Facebook account. But whenever you post something, you can give the post its own privacy options. This means you can keep your profile private, but make a single public post or vice versa. To do so, when you're making a Facebook post, click the little box under your name and in the new menu that opens, select how private or public you want the post to be. Once you post, only the audience that you chose will be able to see it. And that is how you make your Facebook profile as private as possible. So I hope this video helps you. And before this video ends, did you know that you can drive targeted visitors to any niche from every single traffic source? Free traffic from video, social, and SEO. This app gets you everything. And that is Video Seeder by Technic Force, the most powerful video publishing and syndication system invented. It's a top Google and YouTube rankings plus social traffic, so easy that you can do this in your sleep. You can set up campaigns to auto-upload your videos. Single-click upload any video. Create powerful video promotion campaigns. Promote videos to multiple social networks in one click. And publish your videos as articles to multiple blog platforms. And select a huge collection of popular platforms. So, try it out. Just go to videoseeder.in. And that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.